Dear healthy people, have you ever called in sick to work? I'm sure you have. So tell me something, while you were home sick, did you by chance watch TV? Were you able to go to the kitchen and make yourself something to eat? Or did you actually make it to the bathroom with enough strength to shower so you didn't feel all gross? I see. Well then, apparently you're not really sick and your ass needs to get to work. Why am I saying that? Well, it's perfectly clear. If you can do stuff, then you're not sick and you should be working, right? What's that? Oh, I see. So you're trying to tell me that you can feel like absolute shit, but during that time there will be brief interludes where you are capable of engaging in small activities that make you feel less miserable. That's good to know. So with that in mind, let me ask you, why does that logic apply to you and your puny little three-day flu and not to people who are struggling with lifelong chronic illnesses? You ignorant hypocrites. You know who I'm talking to. It's you, you people who judge the chronically ill and decide that they can never do anything fun, that they have to lock themselves away from society never to be seen again because they have the audacity to have an incurable illness. You jackass, are you kidding me? There are 168 hours in the week, 168. So if someone who has a chronic illness is lucky enough to be able to have two or three or even four hours out of those 168 where they feel almost human, where they can pretend to engage with life the way they did before they got sick, they are damn well entitled to do so and it's none of your damn business. Who cares if they're swimming and they have fibromyalgia because guess what? That's a medically approved therapy in a lot of cases for people with fibromyalgia and lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and a host of other so-called invisible illnesses. And if their doctor didn't tell them to do it, who cares? If that makes them happy, if it makes them feel alive for that brief amount of time they're capable of doing that, then they can do it. They can also go out to dinner. They can also go clothes shopping. They can go to the grocery store. They can go see a movie. They can have a normal life to the extent that they feel they are able to while living with the illness that took away most of their life. And it's not your place to say that's not okay. I mean, do you do that to your kids? If you have kids and they get sick, do you just tell them, nope, sorry, Timmy, we're not putting on your favorite TV shows, we're not gonna read you stories, you don't get a hot bath with fun little floaty toys in it, and um, we're basically gonna lock you in the closet until you get better because as a sick person, you should not feel joy of any kind for any reason. No, of course not. So stop being a hypocritical asshole, drink a big glass of shut the fuck up, and mind your own business. Because I'm telling you, the chronically ill have every right to squeeze as much joy and happiness and yes, fun from their lives. Even if it's only for two or three hours out of 168 a week. Of course, that's just my opinion. Sincerely, Ken.